You guys wanted a video on Captain Puffy, so here it is. In this video, I'm going to be talking about who Captain Puffy is, her lore on a Dream SMP server, and all the normal stuff. So don't worry, even if you have never seen her stream or anything, you should still be able to follow along. But before this video starts, I just want to say, I'm trying to get to 2,000 subs by the end of the month, so if you were to subscribe and like this video, that would be amazing, as it also helps the video out in the algorithm. With that being said though, let's jump right into the video. So Captain Puffy joined the Dream SMP on the 16th of of November. Now remember this date because it's quite an important date in Captain Puffy's lore. So yeah, she joined after the Manberg versus Poctopia war and now she kind of lives in this nice mushroom house but she also lives in Snowchester as she is now an official part of Snowchester. She's also the leader of the Pro Omelette group on the Dream SMP server which I'm going to be talking about in more detail later in the video. She's also the adoptive father of Foolish G. Now yes, she's a girl and I have a lot of comments from the Foolish G video sort of confused about how she the father if she's a girl you know it's a stream smp not everything makes sense so it just is what it is and she also gave foolish g foolish g jr which is like the actual item of the totem of undying which again has a bit of lore behind it so that's just another thing that could be important when it comes to puffy's storyline and her lore and something else i had actually no idea about before i researched for this video is that she's actually a pirate and from what i found out before she kind of became i guess a dream smp member or like part of the normal dream smp society i guess you can say she actually was a pirate who arrived in the dream smp and one thing that you need to know when it comes to her character is that something very important to her is like other people and especially tommy and tobo as they're like the two children of the smp and she's a very caring character and this is very similar to awesome dude as he also cares about tommy and tobo a lot for the same reason puffy is apparently an ex part of the egg pyre meaning she used to be in the egg pyre but now she's not, so she left. And she probably also know that she created McPuffies, which is, you know, the McDonald's of the Dream SMP, and also Therapuffy, which is like a therapeutic type thing. So that is quite important in the storyline as well. But before I talk about that, let's talk about the origin story, AKA her being a pirate. So basically what happened is she was looking for a new place to build her house or just another build. And she found an abandoned ship in which she recognized a lot of the things. For example, her captain suit and and a book. Now this book is very interesting. The book was called November 15th, which as I said in the start of the video, she joined November 16th, meaning that this book was literally written the day before she joined the Dream SMP, which is obviously canon. And this book was about her ship crashing and she wrote in the book that her pirate ship was crashing. And that's kind of what made her confused about the entire situation because I'm sure if you were to crash or you know, your ship was to think you would probably remember that but she doesn't but then she does remember all the things on the ship so that's obviously made her very very confused and because of that right now she doesn't really want to tell anyone and i do think that's just for now eventually she's probably going to share it with snowchester and stuff like that but for now she doesn't want to tell anyone in case it's just something that is super important and other people shouldn't know about it now in the intro i kind of talked about how captain puffy is very caring towards tommy and tobo so i want to go into more detail about her relationship with tommy and what she thinks about Tommy. Well, first thing I want to talk about is she was extremely sad when Tommy was killed in the prison and his final canon life was taken. And that's because she kind of felt like she failed to protect Tommy from death. And this is the same feeling that Awesome Dude also got when he was obviously in the prison and Dream killed him. And she was very, very angry at the Eggpire for celebrating his death because obviously the Eggpire doesn't like Tommy for obvious reasons because the Eggpire just doesn't like Tommy. And she was extremely angry to see bad boy halo and anfros celebrating the fact that tommy died and she also built a lot of the memorials that tommy saw after he got revived and came out of the prison because she obviously thought that he was dead which i mean he was but later he was revived and he was super shocked to see all these memorials of him even though he's alive also after he came out of the prison one of the first things he did was he put a note in puffy's therapeutic like hopper i guess you can say in which he literally just wrote help me now i don't know if that was kind of just because he thought it would be funny for the stream or if it's canon but it's definitely something that 
Puffy found out about and obviously that got her to worry about Tommy. And after that day, she swore to take down the egg for all these terrible things that they've done and for obviously celebrating Tommy's death. And that's why she is super anti-egg and why she made the pro-omelette movement, I guess you can say. Now this pro-omelette movement is basically a bit like the syndicate, not really, but it's like a idea, I guess you can say, to be against the egg. And she does have a lot of people backing her up. And one of those people is Technoblade. Now the reason why Technoblade is on the pro-omelette side rather than the egg is because when Bad Boy Halo tried to convince him to like the egg, Captain Puffy was in the same room, or you know, that massive egg room. And when she considered that Technoblade was getting too close to the egg and had a risk of being corrupted, she stepped in and took Technoblade away from the egg. Now some other things happened after, like Rambu getting trapped with the egg and stuff like that, and Captain Puffy was also there helping Rambu to get out. But after that incident, obviously, Technoblade realized that not only the egg was a government, which obviously he doesn't like, but the egg is also evil because they trapped Rambu. So he became a pro omelette member. And because he did that, him and Captain Puffy then went and took down a lot of the Eggpire posters, like the ones that say, join the Eggpire, and replaced them with sort of anti-egg posters. Okay, so we talked about the origin story, we talked about Tommy, we talked about the egg. As I always do in these videos, I want to talk about the relationship with Captain Puffy and all the other characters. Well, not all the other characters, just the important ones. So the first person I want to talk about is Awesome Dude, and I did discuss him a bit in the beginning of the video, but basically her relationship with Awesome Dude is extremely positive. I would say they're probably like one of the closest friends on the SMP, and this is mostly because they have common views on sort of protecting children, so they're both basically innocent, and they can also trust each other. So yeah, obviously that relationship is extremely positive, but you know what's not very positive? Her relationship with Dream. Now, I'm gonna be honest, originally her relationship with Dream was actually very, very positive before the Doomsday War. So she originally like really liked him and saw him as a powerful person, so someone that you wouldn't really want to mess with, but she also had a positive interpretation of him. And she supplied him with materials and other stuff like that. But then on the Doomsday War, she quickly realized that he is a villain, that he cannot be trusted, and that he just loves chaos and that is very much the opposite of Captain Puffy. So yeah, that relationship is very, very negative. What about Eret? Someone who I personally haven't actually talked on this channel about before, but what about her relationship with Eret? As far as I know, it is positive. She was a sworn knight at some point for Eret's kingdom, I guess you can say, as he's obviously the king of the Dream SMP, but she isn't actually his knight anymore. She didn't think that she was a worthy knight at the Doomsday War. But yeah, basically her relationship with Eret is obviously very very positive and while they're not super close friends they're definitely friends in some way so yeah but on the other hand her relationship with Foolish she is very close friends with Foolish G maybe even closer than just friends not in that way but she's obviously the adoptive father of Foolish which obviously makes them very close and also something that I found very very interesting now this is more of a theory but a similarity between Foolish and Captain Puffy is that they have like backstories before they join on the Dream SMP. Foolish G was apparently like thousands of years old, so he was apparently on the SMP before he joined the SMP, obviously canonically, and obviously Captain Puffy was a pirate, and I found that quite interesting. And since we're talking about theories now, let's just get into the next section of the video, which is the theories that I have about Captain Puffy. So the first theory kind of links to the thing I was just talking about, which is that she is a pirate looking for treasure, at least originally, before she kind of forgot about everything. And I think that that treasure is Foolish Foolish G's base or, you know, the things in his base because obviously his base has a lot of expensive things like the massive statue and stuff like that. And the main reason why I think that is because she is very close with Foolish. And let's be honest here, that is probably not a coincidence. I mean, I guess it could be, but I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but it's something interesting nevertheless. The next theory I have is that she might join the Syndicate. And that's for some very obvious reasons. For one, obviously she is very anti-egg, which is the same thing with the syndicate. She's also quite friendly with Technoblade, who is obviously the leader of the syndicate. The only reason why she wouldn't join the syndicate is maybe she could be against Anarchy, kind of for the same reason why Awesome Dude might not join, but I do think that she has a pretty good chance of joining the syndicate in the future, or at least being proposed the invitation. And the last thing, again, kind of links to my previous point, is that she will destroy the egg kind of hands-on. What I mean by this is, she's definitely going to be one of the people that will be a big part of destroying 
the egg. Same with Foolish, I would say, because obviously he has like learning powers and a syndicate. But I think unless she joins the syndicate, she will probably have the biggest role in destroying the egg, maybe apart from Foolish G. But then again, that's kind of just guesswork, so we don't really know. But what I'm saying is she probably will have a massive role somehow, whether it's actually destroying the egg physically with a pickaxe or like starting the war. I think that she will have a massive role in destroying the egg. So what will happen next? Now that I've talked about all these things, we could probably predict what will happen next in the storyline and the lore. But as I literally just said, she will probably join the syndicate. I'm not going to repeat myself, but I just wanted to say, obviously, if we have to predict like what's going to happen next, chances are she will join the syndicate. Next, she will protect Tommy. Now, the reason why I want to bring this up, because obviously, yeah, she's going to protect Tommy. But the reason why I want to bring this up is because obviously, Nikki and Jack Manifold are both super against Tommy. They really don't like him and now they really want to kill him now that he's revived so she will definitely be protecting Tommy a lot more than before and will hopefully save him from his final death and lastly her origin lore or her pirate story will keep developing and sadly in this video I couldn't really talk about it much because there's not much info about it but hopefully in a few weeks we're gonna see more content about her pirate arc and maybe even a conclusion to the story with that being said I hope you enjoyed the video click on the video on screen right now and also make sure you're subscribed because I want to hit 2,000 subs by the end of the month. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next video and I'll see you later.